In the beginning, the earth was created without form, as a spirit hovered over the face of the waters. Light was created first, then the light was divided by darkness. The light would be called day, and the darkness would be called night. On the second day, the spirit created the skies above and the water below. A great firmament was created to divide the waters. The evening to the morning was the second day. The water below was separated from dry land, where a diverse arrangement of plants were grown. The mass of water would be called the sea. The land would be called earth. You are cute, but only when you react. A grand of stars and planets filled the emptiness of the night sky. The sun and moon were created to give life to day and night. Several creatures were created to inhabit the sea, sky, and land. What is this called creatures again? Multiply, and soon the earth was filled with these creatures. Okay. Just the Mandela the catalog day, volume four. A man was created from the dust of the ground, followed by a woman. All right. Okay. Covered. All right. They loved each other very much, and happiness was felt for the first time. They would gaze up at the stars that night before falling into a deep, graceful slumber. Yeah, I, I I got Virgil on deck, man. Awaken my son. Oh, thank God that mist is there. Who is that? This night was different than the last. The woman would gaze up at the sky, but the brilliance and beauty of the stars were obscured by the man, staring down at her. The woman was afraid. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Not only has this old technology been in for the years, for me and my family feel a lot safer with it now. This is Dave from Mandela Tech. How may I help you? Hey Dave, it's O'Brien. Oh, how's it going, man? It's been a while. No, well, you know. Same old, same old. Yeah, I feel you. How'd that church kid go? Oh, it was great. Got the whole congregation out of their seats during the last performance. It felt empowering, you know? According to the other band members, that's never happened before. Made me feel real special. That's great, dude. Happy to hear it. Yeah, man. Enough about me, though. How have you been holding up? I don't know. Uh, you know how it is. I'm sure you've seen the news. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Local businesses have been doing mustache. so hot recently. <sighs> That's rough, man. I I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know. That's alright. I'll find a way around it sooner or later, right? Tell you what. If you end up having to shut down, I can vouch for you to get a position here. They'll pay you much better than whatever the hell you're making down there. I'm not a man of God, O'Brien. Hey, no worries. You don't need to be a believer. You can always let me know if you change your mind. Well, I, I gotta get running. Got rehearsal at 8. I'll talk to you soon, alright? So Mandela Tech is going out of business. Okay. Property of Dave, hands off. Viewing intended only for Mr. Lee. Toddler stress assessment video.
You know what this kind of reminds me of, man? Like when it showed the city parts and stuff, it kind of reminded me of Sin City a little bit. That was me when I was like 29. I was like 30. Meet every Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the St. John Library. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to bring your paintbrushes. Thank you very much, Lola. Our next student comes from our very own Bythorn High. Please welcome Sarah. Hello. I am Sarah Heathcliff, founder of the Paranormal Club at Bythorn High School. I look to do some private investigations and help some people out from the surrounding areas. I'm currently looking for a work partner to pursue this line of work with. Don't worry about having any experience or anything. I'm also a beginner. You can contact me with the email shown on screen now. I look forward to hearing back from someone. Thanks for listening. Currently at large? What the fuck? Hey Sarah, I saw your video. I'd like to join you with your investigation stuff since I think that sounds pretty cool. I go to Workshaw High School, but I hope that's not too much of an issue. Also, I grew up in Mandela, so I have some ideas of places mm. we can explore. Up to you though. Hope to hear back from you. Hey Yuki, thank you very much for the resub. Yuki. The 59 months. Adam Murray, currently at large. So these two are like on the run. Ghost hunting, scary, exploring. Hello, everybody. Me and my friend Adam are excited to announce that we have recently founded the Bythorn <laughs> Paranormal Society. <laughs> yup, you heard that right. We are now expanding its surrounding areas. And we don't mind traveling a little bit if we need to. There is nothing that will scare us away. Just give us a call. Breaking and entering. Event one. This will be fine. I promise. Imagine the reactions from this. This will be great. Yo, Banto, thank you for the, the perfect spot. Ten months, a decade. No way this place was abandoned, Adam. Shh. Okay. Ready to get your mind blown? Blow this. Uh. Look down that hallway, Sarah. Look at it, and don't look away. Okay, all set. Now press play. Audio lure is out. What the fuck is this? Just watch. Look, Sarah, look at it. What are you doing? No, Adam, please. It's right there, Sarah, look. What's going on? Don't you want to see? I can't look, please. It's literally looking at us, Sarah. Crazy good shot, Sarah. No, I'm not doing that ever again. Save it, give us up the looks. I just need time, <laughs> all right? Got trout, thank you for the sub. If you're gonna keep doing these with someone, then you need someone else. I'll do everything else, I guess. Two years later. The call has been forwarded to an automated voice message system. At the tone, 
Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Sarah. It's Adam. I'm on the way back. We got some pretty good material that I think you'll be pretty psyched about. So, uh, yeah. See you soon. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, what the fuck was the beginning of that shit with the with the Adam and Eve and Jesus and all that? What the fuck was what did that have to More Puazing? Yeah, so then in one of the episodes, like there was a human and an alternate, but the human didn't know that the alternate was an alternate. He thought he was his friend. So the alternate baited him into coming over. So then his mom, the alternate the alternate mom followed the guy, the human back home. Yeah, that one was kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking to himself. <laughs> I'm fucking talking to you. What do you mean talking to himself? I'm literally talking to you. We're literally having a conversation. What do you mean? Well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Can we talk this through, please? Mm hmm. You got to try 25 MG next time, bro. What does FS2 even stand for? Fuck you. You'll get what's coming. Ooh. Ooh, the receipts, dude. Oh, no. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hopping on Left for Dead 2 in a bit. Yo, let's go. My man right there. Right there. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Yo, I'm about to slay with Noah, dude. Hell yeah. Left for Dead. Dude, that's how we used to say it. That dude, we'd leave each other a voice message on Xbox, and that'd be the whole message. It would just be that. Good one, Strummer. <laughs> Do you want the good news or bad news first? Great. There's bad news. Uh, Jonah bailed, and I don't know what happened. To Ooh. Jonah bailed, and I'm pretty sure he's... Ooh. He's... <laughs> what the fuck? Dead or something. Man, that sounds like... Dude, that <laughs> Adam. What? Okay, wait. Let me say the good news. What? What the fuck? Absolutely not. Call me now. Adam? Eventually someone will stumble across that. You just drove off? Didn't really think it would be that big of a deal. What? Put yourself in my shoes for a second. I just got done walking for miles in the cold, all right? Would you expect me not to take the car? What the hell has gotten into you? Adam. Got some killer footage, though. I don't give a shit about the footage until you sort yourself out. <laughs> Crazy how I feel more sympathy towards someone I hardly knew than you. He was your best friend. No, he wasn't my best friend. I was his best friend. I don't have friends. Damn. We have to tell our viewers you know. We? I think you mean you. You're the one that handles the online. No. You. This is all your fault, Adam. We didn't need this footage. I don't care how good it is. Why don't you make a memorial video for the only person that ever cared about you? Holy shit. <clears throat> The viewers will start suspecting things sooner or later. I thought you were better than that. 
Damn. Damn! No wonder Evelyn left you. Holy shit, man. Dude, his girlfriend his ex-girlfriend wasn't even in the conversation, man. Holy shit. Seventeen years and counting. Fear dwelling in the bottom of my stomach eats away at me like a cancer. The bellowing of broken parents. This guy kind of looks like he'd talk like that. Cries of sisters asking where their brothers went. All drowned out by the humming of fluorescent lights. Missing person supports stacked on top of each other like a mountain of grief. Part of me thinks if I let a match and tossed it, their souls would find their final resting place. Dude, this is like if my vampire... Weaver. Guardian angel, in a sense. I threw her to the flames in an act of self-preservation. I mean, he's playing, they're playing the role good. Her photo plastered in the lobby. Almost like a reminder of what I did. Wait, who was this again? At the same time. This is... I feel anger. I feel vengeful. Thatcher, that's right. Who the fuck is Thatcher again? I'll make you proud, Ruth. But the darkness followed me home, Weaver. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, in one of the previous in one of the previous episodes, there was two cops, right? Or something? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. One of the cops died. Fuck, man. I wish oh, I wish I would have been like a recap. Is there hold on, is there a quick recap in the fucking comments man no i guess there's not fuck okay damn okay i left i couldn't cut it i shut myself in but something else was there with me he's talking about an alternate if nobody's there to call you crazy dude you know i used to have hair like that would you ever find out dude you guys want to see i used to have hair like that <laughs> okay. Oh, God. That was when I was nineteen. No. I was 18. Is that a portrait for ants? Yeah, I can't get the image any bigger. What the f Yo, what the fuck? Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, that's like actually pretty creepy. Dude, that's an alternate. Dude, that's so fucking... Co oh, right! Right! They keep staring at you. Right, remember that one guy? The one guy called the... He called the cops and he was like freaking out and he was like, it won't stop looking at me. It won't stop looking at me. Okay, that's dude. That's pretty good. That's... You're gonna have to take my word for it. Oh man, dude, look at this guy's You're mustache. Firing me? No, 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 no. I'm not firing you. Uh, you remember our last good day? Dude. Yeah, me either. Dave, please. Dude, why? <laughs> why couldn't they just have him grow a mustache or just not have the mustache, dude? <laughs> like that mustache looks so ridiculous. Puezing. Fine, fine, fine. I'll stop. Fine. Please. Is there anything else I can do? I, I'll gladly do longer shifts. You don't even have to pay me anything extra. This is all I have. Please? Look, I have a good friend that used to work at the police station. I'll put in a good word for you, alright? I appreciate your loyalty so much, Evelyn. 
It's been a good run. Bye-bye. Dave, wait. What's with the closet? The old TV? Why do you still- Oh, the thing got him. The thing got him. Afraid of your own reflection, Lieutenant. Dead or alive, you're no use to these people. A man without a purpose in a world that doesn't need him. A scared boy with a gun. Wait, how was an alternate made of him? Sound familiar. Dude, why the fuck is he watching this? Dear Ruth, I know you can't read this letter, so I guess this is more for my peace of mind. I miss you a lot, man. <laughs> I like to think that you're watching me somehow, making fun of me while I write you this fucking letter. But I'm always greeted by that same invasive silence. I keep driving by the house like a I'm gonna get over it somehow, you know? But it hasn't gotten easier. There's a lot of movies and music that you missed. I wish I could show it to you just one more time. Because the reality is, Ruth, I don't think I'm gonna find another friend like you again. <laughs> and every day it hurts. So they were the cops. Or it's so bad. <laughs> and now you're dead because I was too fucking scared. I was too fucking scared. I'm so sorry. You deserve better, Weaver. You really did. That's how I feel when you don't react. Dude, these emotes you guys are time is so stupid. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> this is stupid. Uploading this makes it more dramatic than it needs to be. Don't care. Your fault. Your PR this time. Whatever. Celebration of life. Dude, why does the text have to be like that? <laughs> huh? I'm not in the mood for joking around. Get this done.
I sent the wrong file. Chill out. Jeez. Why are you acting like this? It is with heavy hearts that we announce the passing of Jonah Marshall, a recent member of the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Jonah was beloved by many of our viewers, and for good reason. He brought a positive energy to an otherwise serious organization. We couldn't be more saddened by the passing of such a pure soul. Jonah passed away peacefully, surrounded by his loved ones. This is so weird. He was always the nicest guy up until he started the investigations of Jonah. I I never believed in that kind of stuff. He always came across as a skeptic, sort of just more surprised than anything. There was always something going on with him, but he just never told me. We got into a big fight over it, and he just told me some awful, terrible things that I just wish he had never told me. I never said that. It's messing with my words. I don't know what's going on. It's not me. The computer, I swear. I'm not stupid. I, I never all right. said that. The computer, I swear. Listen with my words. I'm not stupid, alright? I don't know what's going Listen on. with my words. I never said that. Shut the, the fuck up! I never said that. Messing with my words. I've had enough of you! Please! Get the fuck out of my ass! My words. I never said that. Wait, is this, like, actually the video? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I thought it was actually the video. Uh. <laughs> Welcome to Face Studio 2. Check the manual for more detailed instructions. Trademark Mandela Tech 2000. Yeah, that's weird. Welcome to Face Studio 2, a revolutionary software that can make your face say anything you want, at the touch of a button. All we need from you is your personal details and three photos of your face, demonstrated on screen now. <laughs> Once we have your photos, we will be able to save your facial profile to our database. We will never share your data. Once the upload is complete, you can type in anything that you want your okay, face of choice totally to up. say. A new Ooh. feature with Face Studio 2 is the ability to customize your face even further. Several faces can be saved onto Face Studio 2, creating magical fun, fun for everyone. It's truly a wonder that digital technology has come and saved us all. Make sure to spread the word to your family and friends about the new and improved Face Studio 2, available for free on most personal computers. Do your part in creating a better reality.
Oh, I remember this. This society of followers of the true save is a tangled limb danced around my bedroom. I held my breath and waited for it to stop. I was too scared. I only hated my only face is rude, 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 rude. <laughs> oh, so he's dead. Hello? Hello. Hello. Mr. Davis, are you here? No, this seems. I am in the kissing womb. You think she's dead? For you. It's Dave. What? You know, I mean, I just think it's time that I move on. Okay. Move on with what? Why are you being so cryptic? I just think, I just think that I finally found peace. This isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> okay. So, so we're done. the shit you do for me. How much of that was really worth it, though? If you would have just given up already, maybe you could find peace as well. Think about how much time you've wasted trying to solve these cases. You need to learn how to accept things that you can't change. From 17 years ago, might I add. Find a new meaning in life, Davis. I want to know if Dave's mustache is real or not. Is she just waiting in an empty police station? Drummer, what are we watching? We're watching the Mandela Catalog Volume 4. It recently came out. How much color do you use on that beer? Hey, I just got here. Uh, can you unlock the front door, perhaps? Yo, oh, you're at the front? Uh, yep. I'm at the front of the building. <laughs> Perfect. We'll be right there. Stay still. <laughs> Who the fuck? Okay. Hello? 
Dude, what the fuck is going on? Is anyone there? Fucking dead, dude. <laughs> Murray Murphy. Murray. I think Murray was from a previous uh, video or something. I think. Yeah. Davis? You saw that it said he didn't react. <laughs> Don't react equals dead. Did you see that? Somebody moved. Did you see that? <laughs> Answer me. What is that video? Did you edit all that in? Gotta go to work. Please respond while I'm gone. Gotta contact Adam. Fuck you, you'll get what's coming. Holy shit. And is this you? Please confirm. Yes, no. made my 
Who's he talking to? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, she fucking got Please don't ass, make dude. me have to worry about you. Who's he talking to? <laughs> Please call me back. Please. This is so weird. I mean, it was entertaining. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know what the fuck happened. <coughs> I don't know what the fuck happened. I mean, you know, like it. Yeah, yeah. No, I was that was good. I mean, it was entertaining. I was I was definitely entertained. 